We now return to Let's Play Rogue State. Well, can't go to war just yet. I mean, I can. I, I really could. But what I'd like to do, at the very least, is save up some of those points so I can finally get the Liberals at least to 50% and get them off my back. That will also help me possibly get my foreign minister, but I think that's just a moot point. I think that's going to be a real, real issue. Uh, I think going to war unprovoked... I mean, I'm just speculating here, but I think that going to war unprovoked would not only just take away 25% or 25 points, it'd probably also take away some percentage points of, in approval, because it's like, what the hell. Um, but... <sighs> Damn it all. Damn it all. Okay, so I pff, guess we just keep moving on to the end of the year. Maybe my speech will help out. An invasive... <sighs> An invasive species of oryx are taking over large swaths of land. As you well know, a single oryx egg can produce thousands of the African antelope. We can have a regular culling. We can import Bengal tigers. We can bait them towards the fertile lands of our neighbors. Or we can do nothing about it. Let's go ahead and bring Bengal tigers into the ecosystem. That's probably not the best choice. In fact, it's probably a terrible choice from an ecological standpoint to introduce an, another invasive species. Or we could just kill all the oryx. I'm not sure if people would enjoy that. Free food, maybe? I mean, the only reason we have this as a policy option, and I'm imagining the only reason that it's green, is because it's a special one. We have the policy paper of protectionism, and thus we get the special option, otherwise this would be grayed out. I don't necessarily think that green means it's the best option. Um, you know, since we put the money into the policy paper, let's just go ahead and go with this. I did pick this the last time I played, too, and I didn't see any negative impact from this. I don't know. Let's do it. We'll import tigers. Now everyone has to watch out for freaking tigers. Minister Bulos asks that you arrange a visit from the president. Oh, why do you want to meet the president? Uh, you are a liberal, right? Yeah, not gonna happen. Not going to happen. Especially not now that we've uh, made friendly with the Russians. Liberal approval continues to go down. Our policies are hurting me most there. We've now got everyone else at a good place, so I think maybe we can... Oh, Jiminy Crickets. We don't need that much going on there. Um, what we do need, though, is to bring labor rights into balance. Jobs. This will probably do something there. Um, this helps out a lot there. Let's do something like that. What can we do now? Crime is, is done. Let's try that. Crime is in a good place. Could probably even pull this back further. Corruption has never really been an issue. I mean, we've got two impacting that. We can pull back from a state. I mean, we could really get... Let's try doing this for a while. We don't need Patriot approval so much. We can make some policy decisions to help the liberals up. So I guess we just turn off all of our, our cameras <laughs> after having them for years and years. Yeah, why not? We'll try and uh, speed these guys up to get them at least to 50%. Uh, th did that cost money too? What did I just turn off that had the money? Oh, right, I turned down, turned that down. Um, pulling in the quartz from perfect to efficient, I think is fine. Like I said, crime is okay and corruption has never been an issue. Of which I'm proud. Thank you very much. Um, it's safe. Capitalists are happy. Patriots are happy. As long as we've got our 80% here, that's fine as well. So I think we're good. I think we're good there. Okay. 84% overall approval. Newspaper. Basenji, overrun with wild oryx. What this country needs is more tigers, says Glorious Leader. Ah, uh, boy. 
Yep, that has not changed. Okay. Uh, military situation. Excellency. I imagine you guys still love me. Yeah, that's fine. Hi. So let's go back over here. Uh, I imagine you're still at war. Uh, tensions are still rising. Good. <laughs> I mean, I say that, but um, that that'll work. That'll work for me. We could always call them up and piss them off deliberately to go to war. Starting the new year off, <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. What the hell am I doing? Let's just antagonize them. Thank you. Spiritual leadership is important, but we must also accept that literal interpretations of the old ways do not make sense in this day and age. Truly, we are all seeking a gentle balance between the old ways and the demands of this era. We cannot turn to faith for guidance in all matters. That just had the opposite effect of what I was trying for. Son of a bitch! I... Okay. I must have completely misread the encyclopedia entries because I was under the impression... Babelistan. Uh, crossroads between cultures and faiths. Uh, do, 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 do. What is that? Polarized politicism... Safest country. What the shit? Was it... It was both yeah. Okay, old ways are dominant faith. But, but, remember, we had intelligence on this saying that they were trying to push away. For, see, and, that, and that's what was confusing the first time that I interacted with them. Because I would have figured that they... I mean, th just the mention of the faith makes you think that, well, okay, they're, they're a very religious uh, state, but that's uh, that just ended up not being the case at all. Fuck. Nothing's going right. I mean, everything's going right, but nothing's really going right. I want to be evil. I'm kind of like uh, Kylo Ren at this point. Only less whiny. Um... Okay, well... Here we go. Next turn. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. An earthquake in Basenji's southern provinces has had a devastating effect on several Karifi towns. Major building damage is being reported, and significant funds will be needed to provide relief to the population. Thankfully, we now have a full, a full uh, relief fund to pay for this. So that big time boosts the Karifi as well as helping me out with everyone but the capitalists. Who would make the capitalists happy? Nobody. Okay, well, there we go. We'll empty the funds, make everyone happy. That only raised fundamentalists. I was gypped. The Honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history of our homeland. I wish to address you first as you are the owners of this blessed land, its defenders, the builders of its prosperity, and the architects of its future. Our glorious revolution marked the day that we established our independence and our national identity. Oh. Well, neither of these are really what I was hoping for. We can increase our, uh, our capitalist approval. Um, I mean, most of these, we don't have the option anymore of really pushing for the fundamentalist or the liberal approach. Um, I mean, I guess maybe this would help with the liberal approach. I was hoping to go the military way. We're not, we don't have patriots, patriot option.
Um, <laughs> last time we promised this, uh, we were not able to keep up on the promise. And if I go down that route, I have to continue down that route. Uh, or maybe not. Uh, last time I mixed my messages about who I was pandering to, it didn't seem to have any impact whatsoever. Um, we will increase our funding of state schools and implement new programs in teaching our youth science and technology. I don't think that had any relation really to what I had opened with. Yeah, that wasn't that great. Uh, I should have stuck with the capitalists, I guess. Second, the government will deregulate our financial institutions in order to increase their competitiveness in the global market. I kind of wonder maybe if the power of what I'm saying also has impact with the portion of the people. Finally, That's something that just struck me. Because if um, if the largest population is capitalist, going capitalist would have maybe that's why the plus fours were all there. Let our soldiers fight to free the world of greed, hate, and intolerance, and usher in a new age of peace and reason. Yeah, that, bad speech because I mixed messages all over the place, but I didn't have the options I wanted. Damn it! No bonuses. Working conditions... Rem I, how? How? How do they manage to stay so freaking poor? I have got... How many labor rights things going up? I guess I need all of them. I need all of the labor rights going up. This just brings them down. That turns it up. This hurts capitalists, though. Eventually, this should go... I mean, that, you would think that it would go, eventually. Yeah, I don't want to bring down the capitalists more, though. Uh, we now actually need to work on getting them higher up. Fundamentalists are fine for now. Uh, we don't need to upset the Karifi, either. What does this do for them? Not in much. Okay, we'll play it that way. Um, maybe I should... I was working to counteract the jobs on the labor thing. That's why I kept that. Although the free trade zone you would think would do that. Maybe not. You know what, let's bump it this way and see how that does. If we have jobs issues again, then we'll have to deal with that. I mean, this would take jobs down to improve labor, but I think we're just, just going to have to deal with, with low labor rights in this country. Unfortunate, as that is, but uh, that's about the best I can do on that policy right now. So what else could I start buying here? Because we're running out of game. I mean, we're in our final year now, and... Uh, I haven't really accomplished much of what I had hoped to do. Oh, right. Well, we haven't uh, we haven't entered that point just yet. Hmm. Uh, we haven't entered into the point where... What the hell was I even talking about? Oh, yes. Using the cartel. Once our trade agreements go down... And they are completely open yet, right? Yeah, okay. Our relations all over the place. I guess now I can try and, and provoke Babelistan. Thank nope, no new issues. Good. Damn it. Well, maybe I should... It's, no, 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 not policies. It's unfortunate that the... The policies has the little I mean I know that's not a dollar sign but it just reminds me of a monetary sign and so I keep looking at that even though there's a treasure chest right next to it I keep thinking the other thing is, is uh, yeah goats have gone down our electronics have gone up 
So we definitely, if we were able to renegotiate, we would be getting a lot more for her electronics right now. Unfortunately, the game doesn't want me to be happy. So, the media, the goats, I can't afford either of those that would take all of my income. I can't pander to anyone. Oil, I could have been looking at oil the whole time. That would have helped increase capitalist approval. But again, we can't do any of that without completely destroying my income. Nuts. Okay, uh, well, uh, here we go into the next turn, I guess. This is... I, I, I guess at this point we're just going to end up barreling into the end of the game because I that's that's it. That's all I can really do at this point. Excellency, it is time for the people of Basenji to erect a statue depicting the great revolution and our triumph over the evil King Solomon. The Ministry of Communications is deadlocked as to where it should be placed and would like your opinion. We can place it in the town square so all people can commemorate the momentous occasion. That'll increase approval with everybody. Place it in front of the state cemetery so we remember those who fell in the revolution. Place it directly in front of the American embassy with a reminder that Basenjis will not soon forget their support of the late king. Place it next to Basenjis legislative assembly so our ministers never forget their loyalty. Ah, yeah, I'd like that one actually. Place it in front of the royal palace so my role in the revolution is never forgotten. That could help. We could boost approval with everybody, but right now I think I want to go for the minister and cabinet loyalty. Let's try that. How did that do? 55. Okay. You're going to go down, though, here by 57. That's okay. I mean, that's the end of the game. I mean, we're approaching 60, the end of the game there, so that, that that's fine. 54%, 60%. Well, good. Good. Um, we can now buy liberal approval. I think I will. So now we should be safe and secure there. Uh, still a far way away, of course. However, we are getting 7, so we'll be that much closer, that much faster to the 80 that we require for the end of the game. Um... Newspaper, what do you have to say? Revolutionary statue selected. Legislative assembly building designated as a site for new monument. Liberals are a tiny, tiny fraction of the population, and yet I need them on board just because of the way the game works. I know I keep saying it, but that's the only justification I'm making for that. 80% on the patriots and capitalists. We have that. Really, I should do more for the capitalists, though, because they are the bigger faction, and the more I build them up, the more they help me out in the parliament. <sighs> Can't really do much for them right now, though. I think I've used up all of my goodwill infrastructure. Well, this actually increases the strength by reverse engineering, and we could go mass counterfeiting. That would be fun for a while. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to do that was going to cost me 10? Oh, I already bought the Presidential Guard. Right. Um, and it's 80 to buy drones. And our relations are still souring. That's okay, but... I don't know. Maybe increasing relations with the others? Uh, is our responsibility to govern in the old... Tradi oh, wait, 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 wait. He said he pandered to them, right? That was my intelligence saying that? Let's end the call real quick. I think I've still got two turns. Oh, I've got plenty of turns. Let's go read that intelligence again. Uh, Trajikistan. Known to pander to the fundamentalists. Okay. Bothia. Not devout to the old ways. Babelistan. We have no intelligence on Babelistan. We don't know anything about them. Oh, yeah, and I had another thing about about you. Have evidence that incriminates Margaret Hamilton in a drunk driving incident resulting in the death of a Basenji migrant worker. What is that going to help me with? Could we could we blackmail her? Somehow? We 
We are getting 100% of our tourism from the United States. That is interesting. That's pretty interesting. We still know nothing about... I mean, I would have to increase my funding of the intelligence community, I think, to get those those more, and, and I just can't do that. Uh, okay, well, let's go see if this actually helps me out here. We could just be making mistakes here. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, uh, we now have another one. Uh, let's say this one. It is our responsibility to govern in the strictest traditions of the old ways and to protect the people from heretical philosophies. You have manipulated those traditions. Uh, what the fuck, game? And you are using our beautiful faith to make a false idol of yourself to your people. <sighs> so, I mean, what what does that even mean now? You know, what, I mean... <sighs> I didn't have to go all the way there to get the intelligence. It's right here. What? I don't even freaking know. Would you be free to meet he panders to the religious minorities, but he doesn't enjoy any of the religious discussions. Like, what the fuck? How is that even a thing? That makes no sense. Oh. So we're not in those good relations. I... I, I, I don't know. Um, would moving my plane there and back be enough? I wonder, moving things to and from the border, I wonder if that's enough to tell it to, what, I can't do, oh, the bell is down again. Um, so what does, I can put it on a war footing? Because right now it's on a peace setting. I wish I got a tooltip telling me exactly what this was doing. Let's turn it to be aggressive and see what that does. I'm not really sure. We'll also... Well, it's, I think it's going to end the turn when I get out of the map here. Yeah. The Basenji Intelligence Service reports that it has captured an American spy. The spy was tasked with collecting information from double agent informants working within your cabinet. The sons of bitches. Oh no, we can't execute it. Because I turned off the death penalty. We can only imprison the spy, which actually, for some reason, increases United States approval. I guess because we let the spy survive. Okay, best option. Here we go. At an informal gathering of the Karifi Commission on the Future of Basenji, local community leaders voted in favor of Karif declaring itself an independent theocratic republic. Although there is no precedent to recognize the legitimacy of the Karifi Commission, this has captured the imagination of the 24-hour news cycle and has received a lot of traction on social media. Secessionist nationalists in Karif region are calling for a public referendum on whether to stay as part of Basenji. This has escalated tensions between ethnic Basenjis and ethnic Karifis in our country. The media is reporting on many incidents of violence and discrimination as resentment between the two groups grows. If such a referendum occurs, the Karifis vote in favor of separation. If such a referendum occurs, and Karifis vote in favor of separation, both countries would face shock waves reverberating through our financial markets. With a quarter less people and a GDP that would be more than 23% lower, we have to face the unpleasant reality that a Basenji without Karif would not carry the same economic and political weight internationally. The time is now for Basenji's transitional government to weigh in on this issue. On the one hand, for the first time in over a century, the Karifis may have an opportunity for autonomy. It is uncertain, however, if this is something most Karifis want. On the other hand, we would likely be sacrificing one stable country for two unstable countries, and few would benefit. This much is certain. If we do not address the issue one way or another, further violence is inevitable. We can outlaw secessionism. I don't know what that's going to do for me. Or we can let the people decide for themselves and promise a referendum next year on the issue of Karifi sovereignty. I think it's very difficult to keep the Karifi in in the country, uh, and having them stay a part of Basenji also helps to... Uh, well, helps with the end game. Um, however, by the time it ends, the financial problems 
would not be an issue. I mean, the game ends at turn 60, and you play through the end game thing for a few turns. So, uh, well, I mean, we will have another option to even influence this a little bit, but we've been doing pretty good with by, by the Kareefis, I think. Uh, I don't think I've made a lot of opinions that negatively affect the Karifi. In fact, the, the past few decisions I've made have actually improved relations with them. So, maybe they'll stay with me this time? I think I mentioned earlier in the Let's Play that when I had done this in my test play, I had approval of... Was it Fundamentalists? I don't know, I, I recall having something like 61% approval with someone that should have mattered, and yet they still uh, they still left me. Was it... maybe it was the minister. I don't remember. Anyway, I think it's going to be hard to keep them with me one way or another, and I have a feeling that by outlawing secessionism, I'm going to increase crime and violence and just cause problems for myself. So let's go ahead and decide to uh, allow a referendum, we can always try at the last minute to change their minds. That'll keep them off my back for another year. Thank you for seeing it is my uh -huh. Let's blackmail her with drunk driving. Ambassador. We have evidence that you are responsible for the death of a migrant worker in Basenji. If you do not want this evidence to come to light, we will expect you to portray our country favorably to your Secretary of State. I have no idea what you're talking about. America is an evil warmongering country. You spend the bulk of your economy on soldiers, while your health and education remain neglected. Your rich steal from the poor and throw them in jail. You must feel great shame representing such an inferior nation. Didn't Basenji recently broadcast the hanging of its last tyrant dictator on national television? You are hardly in the position to call anyone bloodthirsty. I didn't call them bloodthirsty, actually. I uh, called them evil. I mean, it said in the text it was bloodthirsty, but the voiceover said evil. I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. I hope we can chat again soon. <laughs> uh, given what just passed... Your agreement to export garments to both has expired. Your agreement to export electronics to Tajikistan has expired. We'd better get those pretty damn soon here. Okay, so, uh, what did that do regionally? I don't know. Over the phone, though, it actually didn't seem to affect uh, relations at all. That's pretty much where it was. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> oh, game. Um, well, uh, we may as well just keep doing what we're doing then. Thank you. Need to sell the garments, which are going up. Are you taking in? Ninety-nine percent. Nonetheless, we'll take it. I look forward to that. Tajikistan or Tajikistan is going to be a little bit lower. Probably not going to get as good a deal, even though the price has gone up. Thank. I uh, don't think that's a good idea. Let's just go sell electronics. Are you interested? Twelve. Okay. Well, that's actually much better than it has been. So, excellent. Goodbye. Good. Glad to see that. So, uh, where are we at here? 72% with liberals. We'll get them to the 80% uh, by the time they are necessary. I would really, really like to get you to 65. That's not going to happen. Uh, 17. Let's see. At uh, 9 per turn, I don't think I'll be able to get one final tank brigade. Can we, uh... God, I really need to get get to war with Babelistan again. Thank you. Alternatively, I can always just invade and uh, cost myself the points. That's an option. Uh... 
parliamentarian. Nick, how is relation? I need your excellency. You can look. Nothing's changed. Nothing ever changes. Okay, ten turns remain until the end of the game. Might be able to squeeze that into one final episode. Maybe not. Depends on if I go to war or not. I think as we approach the end of the game, I might just go ahead and take the dive and invade Babelistan at the end there. I'm not sure how long a war would take. We'll find out next time.